distance. Dear students, distance is a numerical description of how far apart objects are. Distances may be referred to a physical length. The actual length of the path travelled or covered by a moving body, irrespective of its direction, is called distance travelled by the body. For example, if a person moving body moves from A to B 4 km, B to C 4 km and then from C to D 3 km, then the total length distance of the path covered by the person is distance travelled is equal to AB plus BC plus CD is equal to 4 km plus 4 km plus 3 km is equal to 11 km. Displacement Dear students, Displacement is the shortest distance from the initial to the final position. It is the length of an imaginary straight path, typically distant from the path actually travelled. The shortest distance, straight distance between the initial and the final positions of a moving body in a particular direction is called its displacement. Suppose a person moving body moves from A to B 4 km towards east and from B to C 3 km due north. Then the distance travelled by the person is AB plus BC is equal to 4 km plus 3 km is equal to 7 km. But the displacement of the person is AC which can be calculated by Pythagoras theorem that is Acceleration Dear students, velocity is the rate of change of the position of an object. Acceleration is the rate at which the velocity of a body changes with time. The distance travelled by a body per unit time in a given direction is called its velocity. Velocity has both magnitude and direction. So, velocity is a vector quantity. It is represented by the u or v. For convenience, however, it is also written simply as v. Velocity is equal to distance travelled in a specified direction upon time taken. In SI system, the unit of velocity is meter per second. The rate of change of velocity of a body with respect to time is called its acceleration. Let velocity of a body at time t1 is equal to v1 and velocity of a body at time t2 is equal to v2. Then change in velocity is equal to v2 minus v1 and time interval is equal to T2 minus T1. As per definition, 
the acceleration of the body over the time interval t1 to t2 is given by uniform acceleration dear students uniform or constant acceleration is a type of motion in which the velocity of an object changes by an equal amount in every equal time period when a body travels in a straight line and its velocity changes by equal amounts in equal intervals of time then it is said to have uniform acceleration a body falling freely under gravity has uniform acceleration a ball moving down an inclined plane has uniform acceleration distance time graph dear students distance time graph is a way to visually show a collection of data it allows us to understand the relationships between distance and time plotting distance against time can tell you a lot about motion let's look at the axis time is always plotted on the x axis bottom of the graph the further to the right on the axis the longer the time from the start distance is plotted on the y axis side of the graph the higher up the graph the further from the start if an object is not moving a horizontal line is shown on a distance time graph we can see that the time is increasing to the right but its distance does not change it is not moving we say it is at rest if an object is moving at a constant speed it means it has the same increase in distance in a given time in the graph we can see that time is increasing to the right and distance is increasing constantly with time this means the object moves at a constant speed constant speed is shown by straight lines on a graph velocity time graph dear students the shape of a velocity versus time graph gives us information about an object's acceleration velocity time graphs are also called speed time graphs speed time graphs look much like distance time graphs time is plotted on the x axis speed or velocity is plotted on the y axis a straight horizontal line on a speed time graph means that speed is constant it is not changing over time this graph shows increasing speed the moving object is accelerating this graph shows decreasing speed the moving object is decelerating this is a velocity time graph in non uniformly accelerated motion equation of motion dear students in physics motion is a change in position of an object with respect to time and its reference point
A body which does not move is said to be motionless. The three equations of motion are V is equal to U plus AT, S is equal to UT plus 1 upon 2 AT square, 2 AS is equal to V square minus U square, where U is the initial velocity of the object which moves with uniform acceleration, A for time T. V is the final velocity and S is the distance travelled by the object in time t. This equation represents the position time relation. This represents the relation between the position and the velocity and can be obtained from these two equations. Equation for position time relation Dear students, position versus time graphs to describe motion. Let the distance travelled by an object is S in time T and acceleration A. We can see that the distance travelled by the object is obtained by the area enclosed within. Therefore, distance travelled S is equal to area of the trapezium ABDO is equal to area of the rectangle ACDO plus area of triangle ABC is equal to OD into OA plus 1 upon 2 BC into AC is equal to T into U plus 1 upon 2 into V minus U into T is equal to UT plus 1 upon 2 V minus U into T is equal to T into U plus 1 upon 2 V minus U into T is equal to UT plus 1 upon 2 into V minus U into T. Now, from the first equation we know that V minus U is equal to AT or we can write V is equal to U plus AT. Therefore, S is equal to UT plus 1 upon 2 AT into T. S is equal to UT plus 1 upon 2 AT square. This is the second equation of motion. Equation for position, velocity relation. Dear students, position tells where an object is located and velocity is the rate of change of the position of an object. The third equation will be obtained from these two equations. From the velocity time graph, Distance travelled S is equal to area of the trapezium O A B D is equal to 1 upon 2 into B1 plus B2 into H is equal to 1 upon 2 O A plus B D into A C. Substituting O A by U, B D by V 
and AC by D we get S is equal to 1 upon 2 U plus V into T. But we know that A is equal to V minus U upon T or T is equal to V minus U upon A. Substituting the value of T in equation 1, we get V square minus U square is equal to 2AS. 2AS is equal to V plus U into V minus U. V plus U into V minus U is equal to 2AS. By using the identity, A square minus B square is equal to a plus B into A minus B. We get V square minus U square is equal to 2AS. This is the third equation of motion.